Everyone needs sleep. If you feel like you're not getting enough of it, you may want to change your habits. Researchers at the University of Chicago found that cutting back on hours of sleep can make you fatter. If you don't sleep enough, your fat cells get metabolically groggy. They're just not working as well as they should. Professor Brady was involved in a research study that showed this. The study looked at how insulin worked after four nights of four and a half hours of sleep. It compared these results to how insulin worked after four nights of eight hours of sleep. So just in a nutshell, you need nutrients to survive, obviously, but insulin's job is to get them from where they are to where they need to be. If you partially sleep-deprived subjects, you only let them get four nights of four and a half hours in bed, that this will lead to systemic insulin resistance. That is, that the insulin is not working as well as it should. This was the first sleep study done to show how less sleep affects other cells besides the brain. The results were the most shocking part for Brady and sleep research technologist Harry Whitmore. What struck me more, though, is that four nights of four and a half hours in bed, I mean, who hasn't done that? You know, you're studying for finals, you have a big deadline. And it's more the thought of how many times had I done that to myself without really realizing it. Putting together a manuscript, um, that's when most of the, the discovery happens. Um, so that's the exciting part, is actually getting to dig into the data. I asked my friend Christina Walker to help me out. She went through what a typical participant would when getting ready for a sleep study. Most participants spend at least a week or two in this room. I'm curious to what the results would be if I did the following study. From my own experience, when I don't get enough sleep, I'm lethargic throughout the day. So it makes sense to me that the more sleep you get, the healthier you are. It took about 30 minutes for Christina to get ready for this study. Whitmore sign. describes what he placed on her in the yeah, process. So there are um, EEG electrodes, EOG electrodes that go near the eyes, EMG electrodes for the chin, and then some EKG electrodes, and one little respiratory patch to monitor uh, respiratory rate. From the results of the seven people who took part in the study, Brady reminds us that fat is actually important and sleep is important in controlling it. So fat cells are really your friend. They are the ones that will safely store lipids away, keep them out of the circulation. Fat cells need sleep and get your sleep. Fat cells may not be able to do their job without enough shut-eye. So Brady reminds us all to get our sleep. Stephanie Ross, Northwestern News Network.